this still helps me out. So here's Shane Abug. We haven't done this for a while. No, Shane, yeah. the rest of the air we were going to get though. Try to keep us in frame, Shana. Shana, can you Start a puppy off. I'm going to pick up her foot. Now, Shana, I know, has not been trained. Shana, to do paw. Shana, okay, sit. Good girl. So. so, now this is going to be new to her puppy. She's been taught sit. She's going to wonder what I'm doing. So, I usually just go all the way down, pick up the foot, paw. And let her conjugate on what's going to be the same every time. Okay, let's go. Sit. Boom, place. So, whoop, she frame. Okay. Come on, Shana. Sit. Stay. Ah, now sit. Do I sit, stay, and start petting them? So, no, sit. And they know that for a command, they already basically know they're getting nothing but love. Nothing but love. We'll get theirs. Sneaky. Pull off. Yes, break. Not, not you, Boris. Boris, go. Yeah, 
Chain up. Sit. Leave it. No, leave it. Leave it. Leave. times a social break with the puppy or dog and she's already getting to the point where she's she she knows I'm gonna pick her foot up so she's starting to lift it herself and she is a very smart puppy very smart puppy too smart really. oh, she, good girl yes yeah, she, she spin spin no she spin Freestyle dance, and you tap a little bit more. Flash your control. She had to come! Sit. Yes. Let's go. Those things that I never really tried to do before because when I was competing I was just trying to get the title I didn't care about the score but uh, with Shayna I would like to go and know I've gotten better and get therefore get a good score in order to do that I'm gonna have to uh, tighten up my skills in uh, placing her exactly where I want her to be that's something a lot of pet owners need to worry about. It is something that firms up my skills in dog training though and allows me to help people in different ways later on by knowing how to make some things happen. Um, and you can use that for different purposes later on. It's not all just about pretty handling, it's about the obedience competition is really about teamwork and how you create a team and relationship uh, so that you can have a reasonable, well, a really great looking routine if you want to score high, um, or at least a reasonable routine of working together. Shana, sit. So see she's far out from me. So I'm just going to practice a little bit my own techniques. Shana. because they like when they sit nice and close into you. And that means more points, I think. I'm not really exactly sure how the storm goes. I just try to, to uh, know what I can. Boom, place. No, boom, place. Know what I can uh, in order to do as well as I can. And, and like everyone, I just learn as I go along. There's no really great places that I've found yet near me to have someone teach me about obedience competition. So 
um, besides some seminars I've gone to uh, for the bedrock method, that's been the main help that I've had as far as competition obedience training's gone. I had Leanne retrieve for me a piece of straw that he found. We didn't get any points off of that or anything, but you don't want them stopping and grazing. Stay. 